I'm Colette and welcome to Flock Talk. Today I'm going to talk about heating your coop. Now I understand that a lot of factors go into the decision of whether to heat your coop, including the size of your coop, the size of your flock, the location where you live and how uh, cold it gets and even what season it is. But here in Minnesota, where we can get into the you know negative 25 below, I found that I need to heat my coop and I'm going to show you what I've done for that setup. So uh, let's take a look at the coop itself. See that I've got three of these flat panel heaters um, on each of the main sides of the coop near their uh, roosting bars. And I also have a smaller flat panel heater that's down in the nesting box. Now we don't need to have these running all the time and we definitely don't need to have um, all three of them uh, running all the time. So what I do is I have um, a remote control system that I can access from the adjacent uh, bedroom window there. So I've got um, each of these three large uh, flat panel heaters on a remote. And I also have uh, remote thermometers. So you can see right here, this thermometer records the temperature of the coop. I've got another one that's down um, in the enclosed run below. Uh, they've got a space here where they can get out of the elements and I've got uh, a thermometer down there and then I've got a third thermometer um, just outdoors to get the outdoor temperature and my goal is to make sure that ch the chickens aren't outside when it's in the single digits because I've ex had my Buff Orpington experience frostbite from being exposed to the single digits I want to make sure that the coop itself uh, doesn't get down below the teens. I prefer that it stays um, in the 30s. I think they're more comfortable there. Now I know that this is in many ways uh, a personal decision, but for me I think it's a welfare issue and I think that my chickens are more comfortable uh, if they don't have to you know spend day and night uh, in these really cold temperatures that it can get into Minnesota. So each of these flat panel heaters is Oh, are you? Is uh, 40 watts. So, you know, when I've got the big ones, so when I've got it functioning at full capacity, we're talking, you know, still just 120 watts. Now, the way they work is that the chickens will huddle right up um, next to them. Now, none of them are on right now because it's in the 30s here in Minnesota and you just don't need the heat. But on a cold day, um, if they were to huddle next to it, they would feel the radiant warmth from it. Um, but it's not hot enough to combust anything. People put these right underneath the straw. And for a small coop like this and a small flock like I have, these flat panel heaters work um, so much better and so much more safely than putting in a heating lamp. So those heating lamps are a huge fire hazard. Now one of the things that I've done with the um, remote thermometer is I've used one that's for uh, recording the temperature of an outdoor uh, like a garage freezer and it sets an alarm to go off if it gets too cold or too hot. So what I've done here is I actually have it function as a uh, fire alarm. If it gets too hot in here that thing will beep and I do have some concerns you know that there could be a short or something like that a malfunction and if it got too heat hot in here it would beep and I could address that. Are hey, yeah. Um, it also has um, a beef if it gets too cold so then I know that I could remote on another heater so the base situation is to have you know no heaters on if it starts to get cold I can add another each one of these heaters I found um, adds about five degrees of ambient temperature within the coop so the coldest night we've had so far was negative 11 I had two of the flat panel heaters running and it was 19 degrees in the coop with all the chickens there now, um, I since decided to add a third one, and um, with that, we've been able to keep it into the, um, to the high 20s even on our, our coldest nights. So that's it for now with Flock Talk. Uh, uh, let's keep working to keep our hens happy and consider subscribing to my channel, Flock Talk.
so that the remotes don't get damaged by wet weather, I've wrapped them in cling wrap and placed them in Ziploc bags.